We'll support you to help you make it. We're no passing, no judgment on you, but tell and always encouraging you, huh? Thank you, Jesus. But not parlay and be and, and sign off on sin. Uh -huh. We're not signing off on sin. Amen. And I got to plug this up on the ass on TV. You see it everywhere. Like the government is signing off with faggots and letters. We can't do that. Amen. We, yeah, we, you can come in and get saved. Now, but we ain't signing off like the government. Okay. Uh, accept it and leave them alone. Well, that's fine. If you want to be like that, go ahead on. We sure can't do it. Okay. But know this. When you come into God's house, that don't, God don't take that. He don't tolerate that. So if that's the lifestyle you want, you have to say. But if you don't sign to get saved, we cry loud and spare a night. But well, two buddies can't come up here and hug up in the church and say, we're going on the heaven. Not up in here. No, that don't work. The government's here wrong with that. They always saying that. Amen. That's the only thing I agree with the Republicans on. I do that. I do agree with the Republicans on one. O-N-E. One issue, and that is if they got abortion right, the minute a woman conceived, that's a child. Amen. Talk to your head, can't talk about it. It's a life. Right. So I agree with them that, the, that abortion, I agree with them 100%. And same sex birth, they are against it. I am against that 1000%. Yeah. Huh? So I do agree with them on that point. But the other points of their political views, I don't agree with them because Republicans hate black folks. Yeah, yeah I say it on the air. You Republicans hate us. It's coming out of your candidate's mouth. It's coming out of their mouth. They hate us, so I don't support you. But then for divorce, for divorce, remarried, and the gay community, and, and abortion, yeah, you get, I'm with you there now because God condemns it. Huh? Now they're arguing about life. Life, God created life. Not man. Amen. Huh? When a husband and a wife get together and, and, and they conceive, they don't have to have fingers and toes yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As a child, life has begun. Right. See, life has already started. Thank you, Steve. They're trying to get tech and pregnant with life. There's no life when she's not pregnant. But the minute she gets pregnant, that life. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. And you kill it. That's murder. Mm -hmm. Okay, begin to read. And verse 1, chapter 15, goes on the couch, Romans 15 and 1, and I can do a little highlight there, talk about self-denial on behalf of others. Read. We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak, and not to please ourselves. You see what the Bible said? Church folks, God didn't save you and make you strong to please yourself. Come on. He didn't save you to be selfish. Huh? He saved you to be considerate of others. The weak one. You were once weak. All of us, we first got saved. We were saved and that was it. But we were weak. We were vulnerable. Huh? So the Bible said, the strong. That means you're walking with God. You're now... Your foundation, you own the foundation. When you first get saved, you're on the foundation. But now you have built a solid, you have built solid work on that foundation. You have a spiritual life, a solid spiritual life. You have grown from being a baby to an adult in the Lord. You are mature in the Lord. That's what he's talking about. So that makes you strong in the Lord. Huh? And in the power of his might. So when someone come in and just get saved, you should recognize they're going to need my help. Huh? They are going to need my help to make it. Huh? And they want to use you as a sounding board. I don't understand what's happening to me. You don't supposed to say, I'm tired of hearing them. You don't suppose they, when you see them coming, you know they're coming to you, and they like you, they ask you something, you tired of it, and you make an excuse to run out the back door. No! You're supposed to stand there. If it's 3 in the morning, and the phone rings, and you see it's them, you should answer that phone. Amen. Oh, y'all ain't saying that. Amen. That's when it get tough. That's right. So, I hate to bother you, sister. What is it? I can't sleep. It's just bothering me. Okay, let me get up. What's going on? Huh? Y'all ain't saying that. I, I, I did it for years. Don't y'all remember how y'all used to call me to the three in the morning? <laughs> huh? Well, you do the same thing somebody called you. Why? You're strong now. Right? 
And you're strong, you help somebody. He said, you're strong, ought. Oh, Lord. Ought to. He didn't say you have to. But you ought to do it. That's what you ought to do. You shouldn't pass it off to somebody else. Because you won't sleep. Huh? You 